Holy crap. What was that? Headshot! Anyone coming? No, we got him. Good. Silver War Axe, wow. Right. Okay, stealth is the better part of valor today. <laughs> uh, some of the random comments by the bandits amuse me. The Wisp Mother. Watcher of Stones. That's related to lore of Skyrim, isn't it? That's related to a creature, isn't it? The Wisp Mother. I'm taking that. That might be useful. Watcher of Stones. Oh, uh, I'm in the wrong view. I need to actually click on the damn thing. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll take it anyway. Also, yeah, I need to level up. People who are screaming at me about that right now, I, 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 I yeah, sorry, I forgot. Wait, the guardians, no. Okay, that looks useful as well. I'm going to start picking up books, right, related to one or two things. One, Skyrim itself. So, because it, because Claudius needs to learn as much as he can about Skyrim. Now he's become a sort of temporary resident. So, stuff about Skyrim. Ooh, nice, warm. Yes, excellent. And stuff to do with military history. So, like, mixed unit tactics, report disaster at Iron Earth, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Those are the two ty types of books I'm going to be collecting with him, I think. Because he, he would actually need them, and he would actually have an active interest in reading those kinds of books. Huh? You didn't hear anything. Shush. Too late, they heard something. I'm leveling up. Uh, health, please... Speechcraft? No. Something a little bit more useful right now, I think. Uh, that could be useful. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Marksmanship. Ballistics. That could be useful as well. Oh, man, so many perks to choose from. This is the problem with Skyrim. Also, look, 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 it looks really pretty. The little line between the stars there. It's from the, the mod. It's really good. Anyway. Um, light weaponry. Ground bro guard break. When I'll, I'll, while an arm, oh, it's an unarmed thing. Never mind. I could do, oh no, I could do armsman again. Sounds like a plan. I think I need it anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where the hell did? You oh, right, the stairs there. I thought this was just an empty room. It's pretty dark. Oh, come on. Kill cams really suck when they happen to you, don't they? Sometimes forget they work both ways. Right. Oh, right. Crap. Yeah, level up again. Health. Light weapons. Has he heard me? It doesn't look like he's heard me. Whoa, yep. Yeah, he heard me. Oh yeah, that's way more like it. Yes. Love that extra damage. Now then. <clears throat> yeah, it's really dark in here. I apologize, guys. I will do my best, I think, to try and brighten it up a bit. I didn't last time I said I would do that, actually. And I apologize for that, so. Oh, boy. Okay, this guy's going to be tough, isn't he? He's a bandit chief and all. Seems fair enough to me. We have to kill this guy again though, don't we? Whoa! I should really do I should do that more often actually. Open the fight with a crossbow volley. It's actually, I only have six bolts left, are you kidding? I should have taken the one that allows me to forge more. Yeah, see that was much better. Pretty decent, decent move that actually. I'm increasingly glad I've picked to specialize in crossbows. Right, what do you have for me? 100 gold steel bolt. Steel horned helmet. No, nothing with horns. <laughs> I'm very adamant about that. Did we loot you? I don't think we did, did we? There we go. 
Right, okay. There's probably more guys around here, but we did kill the chief. Does that technically mean the quest is done? No, we have to clear out the entire fort, not just kill the leader. Okay, fair dues. I need a torch. Like, I really, really need a torch. And unfortunately in this game, that rare is oil. Right, it's a locked chest. But health potions. <laughs> right, okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, so close. No, I went the wrong way. Come on. Come on. It'll work. No! I hate lockpicking. Don't, oh, damn it. Come on. Yeah, I really need to install a lockpicking mod. This is nightmarish. Come on! Ugh. I'm not amused, game. I'm really not amused at all, in the slightest. Just come on. Oh, let me... No! Right, okay, think. It's there that time, so if I move it up there... I'm using the... That 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 bolt on the, the on the lock at the top right there is a point of reference at the minute. Right. Oh, there we go. Okay, that did the trick. I think that might be the key. Amulet Stendar, block ten percent more damage to your shield. Thank you. Hammerfell Guard Sword, damage fifty four. Type sword. Oh yes. Oh yes, please. Thank you very much. I will be yes. Mm mm. Damage 54, damage 40, yeah, no brainer, totally. You, sir, are getting favorited. I like the clappers. Uh, one. Uh, whoops. Look at that thing, it's a bit unconventional. But it will do in a pinch. Heck yes. Find me. I don't know, scimitars, is that really... Oh. Can I really quibble about whether or not scimitars are Claudius's thing when this thing is so good? That seems dumb to me, honestly. Seems very silly. Cast iron pot, goat cheese wheel, yeah, fine, why not? Uh, you know what? No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't live with it. I can't. I just. I just can't. Some people scream at me for doing this. Some would have screamed at me for actually using it, but no, no. I just won't. I can't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. It just. It doesn't feel right. Like if I'm going to say no to axes, because they're kind of they're too exotic, and and maces, the same frankly has to go for scimitars. Claudius just isn't trained in that type of combat. Mind you, perk-wise, this still kind of makes sense from a certain perspective, because later on, I believe, you go up this way. Yeah, you can actually specify, you specialize in very specific types of swords. Say, look, scimitars you can specialize in, katanas, long, you know, yeah, long swords, short swords. I didn't realize there were any short swords. Tantos. Wakizashi's. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Sky re in action. It's good. And a map. Brilliant. I, mean, I hadn't actually found a proper map up until this point, but now at least I have one. The Gold Ribbon of Merit. Marksmanship increased to 33. Fair enough. In that early springtime morning, pale sunlight flickered behind the morning mist floating through the trees as Templar and String Pool made their way to the clearing. Neither had been back in High Rock let alone their favourite woods, for four years. The trees had changed little, even if they had. Even if they had. Stringpool had a handsome blonde moustache now, stiffened and spiked with wax, and Templar seemed to be a completely alien creature to the young lad who had searched for adventure in the ancient grove. He was much quieter, as if scarred within as well as without. How long is this? 
Oh dear, this is quite long, isn't it? Yeah, no. Sorry. Uh, wait, no. Take, take. I will read it later. Game. Baked potatoes. Don't really need them. Iron helmet. No. Chest, yes. More iron gauntlets. No. Iron boots. No. Iron greatsword. Definitely not. Banded iron armor. No. Oh, this place is rubbish. Where the hell do I go from here anyway? Is this it? Oh no, there was another building, wasn't there? I think I need to go check that. Instead of... Garlic. You know what? I need garlic for cooking. I will allow myself to take that. Even though it's technically an alchemical ingredient. Right. Unless there was another way around here somewhere? No. No, it was just that little uh, dresser, wasn't it? Okay, so there's another building out here we need to go into, apparently, and kill some dudes in. We did kill a bandit chief, and I'm assuming he was the only one, but... Assumptions are dangerous. Assumptions get people killed. I don't know where I got that from. I'm going to assume it's just... I'm going to pretend that it's just some military maxim Claudius was taught at officer school. Oh. Oh, crap. He says, cowering on the floor. Right. Oh, God. Here we go. Two at once. This is not something I'd honestly counted on. Oh dear. God damn kill cams. I mean, they're great and all, but they are a little unfair. Damn it, I didn't stagger him. I was hoping it would. Can you stop blocking, damn it? Whew. Right. Take a breath. Whoa, 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 okay, no, don't take a breath. You know what? Yeah, fine. One at a time, you guys are okay, and it's so dark I can't see what I'm swinging at. Well, that was too dark to see, but I assume it was something cool. <laughs> Jesus. See, I have dark dungeons installed, but it was with the expectation that I would have some form of light source, but I don't. Because apparently torches are a rare commodity in the land of Skyrim. Oh, was that painful? I do hope so. Lots and lots of bread and cheese. Any other day of the week, I'd be excited to see that. Uh, brief history of the vampire. Now we don't really need that. It's basic stuff. You get taught that at the at the at the officer's school, wherever that happens to be. I don't. I'm making this crap up as I go along, aren't I? Uh, anything interesting here? These are just empty cells, aren't they? Right, so he was the last one. Is this clear yet? It's not, is it? Damn it. Was there someone outside I left behind? Dishcloths. Dishcloths! Must I slay the dishcloths too? Must they perish by my hand so that my test may be complete? Apparently I need a nap as well. Oh dear. Priorities, Claudius, come on. I, 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 there's got to be someone out here. Got to be. Is there, would the quest marker point me to? Oh, hello, yeah. Maybe. Oh, there's some gentlemen and gentle ladies up here that need a good talking to looks like it 
Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, well played. Seriously, very... <laughs> well played. You know, I can't loot you when you're down there, can you? Oh, and there's a crossbow. Someone with a crossbow. Up there, aren't you? And I'm out of... Oh, God, this is bad. Right, you I'll get to in a minute. I'm afraid I have other priorities right now. Where are you at, you little... There you are. Right. Tell me you have some bolts. You do, good. Steel, white, trim, full skin, hood, back. Black, sorry. I will take that, because it's better than this other one I'm wearing. Where is it? Uh, I'll keep it, because it's worth a fair amount of money, but... There we go. How does that look? Sorry, probably not a good time to be checking my fashion sense, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I approve. Now oh, let's go kill this other bandit. Okay, right, you... Animations are a bit funky there, Claudius. Get them sorted. Where has she gone? What are you doing? Don't make me come down there. There you are. Oh, Jesus Christ. At least she's only got a short bow. That I don't really have to worry about so much. Come on! Do the decent thing and just... Hurl yourself off the cliff or something. There we go. Waste of good bolts was that. Oh, off she goes. So long. Needless to say, I'm not going to try and loot her. Wow, distant terrain looks really naff, doesn't it, up from up here? I may have to try and mod that, I suppose. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't need to get any distant terrain mods, because they drag your performance a little bit, but... Mm. I guess now I'm not underclocking my goddamn graphics card. I guess I'd have I don't have to worry about it so much. So that was it then. Report to Legate Ricker. Brilliant. Ugh. I'm gonna go warm up by the forge. Do they have a tanning rack around here? I wouldn't mind making a backpack. Exposure plus seventeen. Plus seventeen? Plus 20. Oh, fair enough. Okay, then. Right, anyway, just though for insurance's sake, I'm going to change back into the fur armor. Put back on the storm cloak gloves, ironically. And, uh, let's get out of here. I did leave you good. Whew, back to solitude we go. Hopefully, it'll be an uneventful journey back. Hopefully. Not having much faith in that statement, honestly, but... A man can dream, can't he? <laughs> and here we are. Strangely, Frostfall's telling me that the air is still biting cold. Even though it kind of shouldn't be in this area. I mean, just look at the glorious weather. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Air is temperate, finally. I can take this rubbish off. Oh, I did have a backpack with me. Huh. I thought I'd sold that, but never mind. Oh, and the helmet hood thing. Where are you? I mean, I should probably wear that just because it's armor, technically, but <laughs> it looks really daft without the other stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway. We're back. In solitude. Finally. Doesn't it look good, though? I mean, good grief. This is the best, probably the best set of Imaginator settings I've actually managed to tweak into this game. It looks glorious. I will never, ever understand why Bethesda felt the need to... Is that...? No, it was a hawk. I thought it was a dragon for some daft reason. Anyway, um... I never will understand why Bethesda felt the need to, you know, make everything so damn desaturated in the vanilla game. Everything looks so horrible and grey. It's just... Ugh. And all it takes is a teeny weeny bit of tweaking and, you know, just look at it, it's glorious. 
I mean, look, I never even noticed these flags had different colours in the original game, but they do. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I've got a little work if you're interested, Traveller. Morning, or rather afternoon, gentlemen. It is 4.18pm. Good timing, then. Would have been there sooner if it went for a little expedition into that awesome-looking cave. Men chasing after a fairy tale. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're backing Elisif. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the Moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around him. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Ellison. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you. If this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when oh, you get there. Oh, right. You, you, you noticed I was here then. The stone fist's no fool. He's found the crown. But we'll get to it first. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. So am I, actually. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. <coughs> Rejoin. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Yep, I'm, I know all about the oath. Don't you worry about that. But it's a formality, so let's get it out of the way, shall we? Change your mind. Decided you want to soldier uh, for the Empire after all. Yeah, I do. I do. I just ready to take the oath. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor Titus Mead the Second. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor Titus Mead the Second. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. That one really bites for Claudius, that one does. <laughs> May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. May those above judge me, and may those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire, indeed. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Terms and conditions bear, apply, apparently. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. So I heard. Yes, yeah, something about following our hearts. Which seems to be a kinder way of saying... Stupid. Anyway. Excuse me? Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Well? Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Yeah, he just said that. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Uh, yeah, what, what, what's, what, what, what's the dra Jagged Crown exactly? A legendary crown dating back to King Harald's time or before. A powerful relic of the Golden Age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Oh, <sighs> Nord nonsense. The lot of it. Ugh. Ugh. 
don't have the patience for it at all, but orders are orders, I suppose. How do we know the crown is in Corvin Yund, exactly? Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus, when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely to found it. Why do you fight for the Empire? Uh, might be a bit uh, above his station, really asking a question like that, but I think he's genuinely curious what with Rico being a Nord and all. Uh, you know, yeah, there's nothing, I suppose there's nothing really out of the ordinary about that. I mean, it's not it's not, it's not, not to imply that Nords are incapable of being loyal or anything like that. It's just she apparently knows this Galmar fellow personally, so, you know, why do you fight for the Empire then and not with your friend Galmar? I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires and I've followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim and wish to see her made whole again. Mm, don't Stormcloaks call themselves sons and daughters of Skyrim? I'm not going to ask about the band or the worship of Talos because that's not something Claudius himself particularly concerned with, but that's a topic for a later date, methinks. Don't Stormcloaks call themselves sons and daughters of Skyrim? I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomania. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his storm cloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The Rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. Could not have put it better myself, Rekka. I really couldn't. Right, yeah, no, okay, I'm not going to ask that. I'm not going to ask that either because Claudius knows full well she's not in a position to answer that. So... If that's all... There's pressing concerns that need to Yeah, I'm quite sure there are, so let's just go. Uh, Legend of Red Eagle. Yeah. Hang on a minute. <laughs> it's a funny looking cover. Anyway, uh, we need to go see Bearand and get our armor, finally. Back in on good old Legion clothes that we can call our own. This is something Claudius has been looking forward to, I can tell you that right now. Where are you, Berend? Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? General Tullia said you'd get me outfitted. Yep. I just have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy? Heavy, definitely. They don't make finer steel anywhere else. If this doesn't keep you from dying, nothing. <laughs> now that's it. Fair enough. One free outfit per soldier. You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. Okie doke. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Oh god, I'm over encumbered, aren't I? I should probably... Well, that won't be a problem in a minute. Oh, here we go. Oh, they even gave me the shield. Yes. Uh, yeah, the shield. Thank you. 